a meeting call to order February 20th, 2020. This is a recorded meeting. Welcome, everyone. Good to see everyone here. Welcome. Uh, we're going to review minutes of the last meeting. Comments, questions, are we going to wait? What's, what's wait? Wait until everybody's had a chance to read it. Okay. That's the problem. I mean, John, uh, you mentioned the last, you didn't want to act on the last meeting because of the fact you didn't have a chance to read it. Do, do we have copies that we're passing out right now? There are, I have some on the table here. Okay. Pass two. Do you want to so we should take them with us to read or read them right now? Okay. Do you want to take Okay. No, I would believe it. Thank you. No, I, I do you have I mean, copies of the minutes? Okay. Right on. I did not get no, it. I'm not sure. So, so, Alex, again, thank you for doing the minutes. Um, you can send them to Sue in draft format, like with draft on it or whatever, and then she can send it out to everybody so we have it via email. Okay. Do you want to do it like that? Okay. Yeah, she, she, didn't, anywhere. I don't think she didn't send them. Oh. Okay. But maybe we can approve those then tonight. You, you already shared these? What did you say? Oh, with Sue? Yeah. Okay. Maybe she's new. Maybe she doesn't know to send them on out. I'll email her tomorrow. We're going to continue the meeting for um, open meeting on the uh, Dollar General LLC public hearing. And we're going to talk about a change in the date of our next meeting. No, There's, it's not the next meeting. Well, it's yeah. Well, it's it is going to be from Dollar, the next meeting. The Dollar General meeting. We're going to want to reschedule. It reschedule to March the nineteenth. Right. At Seven p.m. Well, it's scheduled for the twelfth, and we're going to change it to the nineteenth. I. Yes, it needs to be the nineteenth. Right. So By that's what we're going to discuss so we right need now. To, we need to make sure that uh, Sue sends the notices out to the abutters so that everybody understands, and we don't get accused of going around everything. And why are we changing from the 12th? Because Mr. Storisky, I don't think, can be there. <coughs> and uh, he uh, expressed interest in being there. Okay. That sounds good. So uh, well, are we going to, Mr. Chairman, are we going to meet on the 12th? We have for the other scheduled meeting and then the 19th, and then we're going to stop doing two meetings a month and meet yes. the second Thursday? Yes. That's what you want to do? Well, let's get try. this straightened out first. And then we'll go to that. Other, yeah, we just got to make sure that we soon knows not to schedule meetings, but once a month, unless we decide as a board to vote to 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 do a meeting in between. Right. Okay. Uh, that way we don't end up with duplication. But we do have a hearing scheduled, I believe, on March the 12th. We do. And I think it's 127 North Main Street. Right. Okay. So we'll have that one as scheduled. Yes. Yeah. And okay. then we'll do the. Uh, the Dollar General one on the 19th. And both of those will be at 7 o'clock. And there's some thought that come April, we should be scheduling meetings at 6 because uh, we're going to have a double hearing on the 19th, as it looks like right now, between the Dollar General and, and 6 North Street. Hmm. Okay? I thought we told the 6 North Street people to come at 6. We can't because it's not it's not posted for that. That's where we're running into trouble. The postings. Yeah, but we got tough until 48 got hours to post, not six weeks out here. Okay, so well, I'm just, I, I, Mr. Chairman. I mean, whatever time you want to start the meeting, I'll start the meeting. I mean, I thought that we were gonna last month we were gonna delay it to the 19th for Mr. Staberski, but unfortunately. The information that you're giving us now is that the 12th was already advertised legally. That meeting was already posted in the newspaper. Correct. And that has to be a 30-day posting. That's correct. So we're going to have to deal with that. Right. That anyways. Right. All right. So someone make a motion to move it to the 19th? Well, this gentleman here is with the Dollar General folk, and maybe we should get his input. Oh, okay. Because he's been raising his hand. So if that's all right with you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, that's fine with me. Please introduce yourself. Thank We're you. We're not opening the hearing tonight. Well, this is scheduling, yeah. This, this is only talking about scheduling. We're not opening it up for testimony pro or <coughs> pro or against. Correct. Okay. Um, Chad Drubaker was the Scottish Development, the record. Um, and I had 
Uh, Can you spell your last name? I'm sure. so sorry. Bruce Baker, B R U B A K E R. Okay. Um, and we've been in communication mainly with Sue on the on the rescheduling when this hearing got continued, and for the past several weeks we've been clearing everybody's schedules for the 12th. Um, I did get a call from Sue today about four o'clock stating that they wanted to switch it from the 12th to the 19th. I did reach out to our attorney, who is the most important piece on our end, um, and he is unavailable the week of the um, the week of the 19th. Okay. Um, so if they're not available on the week of the 19th, I guess we're going to have to come here anyways to deal with the North Street people. But that's a continuation of a hearing. So does that only have to be we offer them the 12th or then the second Tuesday of April? If, if there's a quorum on the, if that's already been advertised and there is a quorum of the board on the 12th, can we still continue with the, with the 12th? I don't think we, we want to do that because we got members that want to be here. Who are at the initial yep. mm -hmm. meeting. And also we have our town attorney who hasn't got back to me yet when he can be available. And that's Sue, Sue had confirmed, she told me that he was a confirmed for the 12th, but he wasn't confirmed for the 19th. <laughs> well, anyway, it's a, been a communication problem. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the next meeting we had, in the minutes we've got is a new date to continue the discussion was to the, I don't know if it's the right hearing or not, but the 19th was the date that we were shooting for. Now, you say your attorney can't be present? He cannot be present on the 12th or on the 19th. So why don't, we're going to meet. A, what, wasn't it stated earlier, too, that it was advertised for the 12th? No, no. Uh, the, the 127 North Main Street was in the newspaper in the legal ads for the 12th. Because the 12th is our regularly scheduled meeting right we're supposed to meet historically uh we cleared all this up in the fall on the second thursday of the month so that second thursday was the 12th of march and that 127 north main street issue was advertised in the newspaper and the cost of advertising and everything is substantial to the applicant that we have an obligation i think to be here on our regularly scheduled meeting night so we will on the evening of the 12th, Bernie will have a chance to talk to town council, and town council can talk to the attorney for the Dollar General to see if they can come up with a consensus as to a date to continue the hearing. And that is the best way. And Mr. Staberski, if he wants to give any input, he can. But, or anybody else who needs yeah. to be here. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, that's about the best we can do. And, and on the evening of the 12th, make sure you have it on the agenda to, to set up a new scheduled date to continue the hearing, all right? Because of the fact that uh, there's conflicts. I mean, you don't want to go, we don't want to go forward and not have your attorney be able to be represented. I mean, it just leaves us up, up to a suit. Right, we've just, for the last three, four weeks, we've been communicating with everybody on the 12th and lining up all the schedules. That's why, you know, to find out two hours before this meeting, um, you know. Well, well, I mean, it's a decision of the chairman. I mean, whether, whether what you put on the agenda for the 12th, I mean, if these folks want to be here on the 12th, I, I don't know how you, and it's a scheduled meeting and you have a quorum, how do you not? <clears throat> well, we can take a, we can take a vote on it. I mean, I've changed my schedule specifically to be here on the 19th, but not on the 12th because that's what we talked about and i know that's more convenient for 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 john but we have to do business on the 12th some mem members of the board have to do business on the 12th so maybe you could put them on for let's say whoever else had other business we only had so much time in the night to do things right. so if you manage the time i don't i mean obviously uh their hearing is a lot more well attended than others um, so that creates a, another you know an issue for us as well where if all of our members want to be present for it and we talked about it as the 19th you know I don't think there's any fault on our administrative staff um, if it's in the you know I, I think the best thing to do would be to schedule it for the hearing for the second Thursday in April because that's our regular meeting night I would agree. It seems that, you know, we've, we've had some back and forth and, and we, we want to, you know, 
with, with all due respect to your timeline, um, I think that it should be um, relatively simple for people to uh, uh, clear their calendar for something in the first, the second week of April, um, and uh, um, you know, it, it, uh, there there definitely were issues that were open. We were expecting to have more information. I don't know if uh, um, you know if the well. Clearly, we we just don't feel uh, I think um, uh, capable and 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 willing to meet without John on the 12th uh, or on the 19th. Um, uh, well, they're, they're, they're not available on the 19th. That's what you're saying right now. Yeah, no, and I just question why with why one specific member when there's still a quorum. You know, well, I don't think we even know if we still have a quorum. Well, there's, there are regular members and there are alternate members, okay? And Mr. Staberski is a regular member. Who was at the first part of the hearing? I was at the, the original hearing okay and uh yeah we have to be careful that we're not having alternates voting on a project like this could he could he remote it. in you well, know he, you would have to vote it you I mean you would have to vote with alternates no i understand but could he could john remote in like on the on skype or something if he wants to be here i'm not would, sure the I statute know. on that but i'm sure the attorneys I, would pick it apart I was pretty. Other. I I was pretty clear when I left the last meeting that we were meeting today, and then we were meeting March nineteenth, and that was it. That's the way I remember. That's how I remember it too. When that I was but I got word from the office over here that we already spent money in the applicant to advertise in the newspaper for the one twenty seven North Main Street. So. Well, that one's still on. So. Well, I know it's still on, but I'm just saying, in my head, I walked You're out like, of here. How did here that happen? That we yeah. weren't meeting in March until the 19th. Right, right. And, and, and it seems <laughs> to me our agenda tonight is to open the hearing and set the new date. Correct. Right. That's so what we're trying to do right why now. Why don't we do it for April? Yeah. Second Thursday. Yeah. Well, the trouble we run into now is, is our council going to be available? That's where the, that's where the, the problem has been. So... That's been the problem. I think if we set the date hard for that date, then now that's when it's going to be. Right. Not necessarily, because you're going to have to have town council there because. Oh, I know. And then you're going to get it. You're getting into your town meeting season already. Then too, but. That's the following week. But. Well, not ours, but for any labor council that represents people with town issues mm -hmm. across the state, that becomes town meeting season. <clears throat> it's New England. It's New England. I know. I just, I don't want to. Well, the wanna... second, the second Tuesday in Thursday. April, the second Thursday. Thursday is the ninth. Okay. Yeah. Now, do you, we can tentatively schedule it for the ninth, uh, assuming that everybody can, all the councils can be present and we can work it out or we can uh, leave it up to the chairman to get a hold of the parties and try to come with a consensus date. And, uh, or we can, do that, then we can talk about it on the twelfth and reschedule the date. So it's up to you. And that's up to the chair. We could put it on the agenda on the twelfth, open it, and close it. That's you know within right. reasonable time. I mean, we don't have to get into it really. I mean, well, I, the I problem just... is when, once you open a hearing, okay, you can miss one. <coughs> you can miss one meeting, mm -hmm. okay, and you can go through the tape the way I understand it and familiarize yourself with everything that happened. Right. But if it's more than two meetings you miss, right, then, then that person can't participate, okay? So I just want to try to avoid that if we can. Well, I, I want to avoid it as we can too, but I also think that we have a responsibility to the town to clear these matters up in reasonable amount of time and not drag them out for six well, or eight months. Well, it reasons. sounds like we still have to meet the 12th. Right. We yeah. still have to meet the 19th for the 127 North Main and for the North Street. Yeah. Right. So we have, we're meeting. We're yeah, in the I, future, I, we're gonna try to make it the second Thursday and work with Sue on that. So the only thing we really need to finalize now is as much as possible, the April meeting for the continuation, the, right? The ninth. Well, I, I, I guess I, I'm open to flipping back on my vote because if, um, if, if we can't guarantee tonight, then we don't know that the second Thursday of the month, our town council is going to be available. 
I do hear what you're saying about we're just kicking this can down the road. We do have a 12th, the March 12th, where we know both councils, they'll be available, we'll be available. John could catch up and not be out of compliance, right, by, by, by um, keeping up and... Um, can we move it to the 12th, meeting. or is that... It's already it was kind of scheduled for the 12th, right? No, it isn't. It was scheduled for the... The minutes. Oh. The minutes. Oh, the 19th? The 19th yeah. is But, but we did have administrative connection to make the night the 12th a, a doable date for both councils. I haven't seen that in writing for both councils. He's here tonight representing them, saying that their council is not available on the 19th, and at 4 o'clock this afternoon they were told that it was the 19th, and they thought it was the 12th. So I don't... Mr. Chairman does the communication over here and there. I just went back through my emails before tonight's meeting and saw that the posting was in the paper for 127 North Main Street and then I was like because I had to put in for vacation time and I was like oh I only thought we had one one meeting and then that's when I inquired and the answer was well you got to meet on the 12th it's been in the newspaper you got to deal with it okay so now that's you know like I said like I said early five minutes ago when I walked out of here the last time I thought we we're meeting tonight in March 19th <laughs> So you thought Dollar General was going to be the 19th? Yeah, Correct. because Mr. Staberski wasn't available on the 12th. I said to the chairman, well, we're not going to do this two meetings a month thing. And he's That's like, right. no, we're not doing two meetings a month. We won't do one meeting. We understand that Mr. Right. Staberski can't make it the second Thursday in, uh, in March, so we we're going to go the following week because mm -hmm. it met all of us that was here scheduled. Then we hear our council can't be here. Well, maybe we want it without him then. then maybe we just have to. On the 19th? It. On the 19th, yeah. council. Right. <laughs> as, as of, again, and I haven't gone back yeah. to my emails, just confirm. No, well, I'm saying even if our own isn't here, you know, we need to move forward with this the best we can. Right. And if they're going to hold us up, they're going to hold us up. Right. But, or and they send somebody. And we continued tonight because town council wasn't available. I and mean, we were prepared to have everything in last week and, and present tonight. But we could delay tonight because town council was not available. So that's... So I, you know, the understanding that I had, and this was, it's not new, that was three, four weeks ago. Right, and we also asked for all the documents and stuff that we're going to go over to be provided administratively in advance, and we haven't got anything. Right, because we knew that we were still three weeks out. From right, the, okay. We are gathering all that information. I was out there today taking pictures for the 3D renderings and all that stuff. So we mm -hmm. are putting that together. Had the meeting been tonight, we would have. Put it together quicker. We had a week ago. So, mm -hmm. so, so are we going to have this the 19th? Let's leave it scheduled for the 19th. Yeah, and for it, the 19th, it, it, something it comes up before the 12th, at the night of the 12th, and, and we can move to set up a different date that's more compatible with everybody. Can you we say, need to start moving forward. But, right. but the, the 12th works for everybody except for one board member who can... Who can um, so the 19th the is meeting. the 19th? Who, who had an issue with the 19th? Mr. Staberski. With the 19th? No. No, it was our. Well, we just council. found out about the You're 19th. <coughs> our, our council is not available on okay. the 19th. Okay. Again, the reason why we were careful of this is we don't want a, we want to have full members here for this one because it's of the issues. Specific member. Yeah. Exactly. Right. But if we can't, we can't. I mean, we just have to, somewhere along the line, we're going to have to make our decisions, unfortunately. And not everyone's going to be happy. We know that no matter what happens, no one's happy. So, we're, let's go with the let's stay with the night. Let's take a vote. Anyone take a motion for a vote? The, the well, what's what are we? Well, we've already Why voted not? on the nineteenth. Their council is not available. Right? They're not going to. Or, or is that not our issue? Our issue is, I think we voted already to set it up on the 19th. I believe we, that's correct. We and I think what happened is for some reason it didn't get communicated to the secretary who's new, okay? And no fault of her own. But evidently it didn't get communicated. But if the minutes of the, that I'm looking at here, there's a, yeah, let's Bernie look at said them. we are we're all in agreement by having the hearing on March 19th at 6 p.m. instead of our usual time of 7 p.m. We as Dollar General will take quite a while, okay? And then, then there was some more discussion on some other stuff, right? But I think that yeah. was the... Uh, oh, no, that's what I saw. Right, so this and board didn't vote motion, to move it to the 12th. Motion by John Staberski, seconded by Adam Suck, and I voted 6 0 yeah. to continue the public hearing. Oh, that's Renaissance. Uh, right. The, Which uh, reading are you looking at? I'm looking at the notes of the 23rd. 
of January that say moved by Adam Sokolowski, seconded by John Sabursky, and voted 5-0 to continue the public hearing for South Deerfield DG uh, until February 20th. Right, which we're, we're here now. Right. So I don't see where we put mm -hmm. it into the, where we had a motion. The next set in the meeting minutes. The February 13th, last week? Yeah, last week. Where, where are those? It's that sentence right at the top there. I don't. Are these, are these the February thirteenth minutes? Yes. Okay. So you and I have don't have these yet. Okay. Do we have more copies of those right now, Alex? Or no? Uh, you, you can, can take. Can. You can take. Well. Okay. That's fine. We'll just share. Yes. So this is this is Renaissance Builders okay. until okay. March. Oh. Well, okay. Oops. Sorry. I think yeah. we missed something. So it looks like we just continue. Right here it says Sadowski proposes a new date for continuing February 20th what, to March. What page are you on of those minutes? Two. Adam? Okay. It's the back of the first page. It's okay. Paper saving. About printing. where? Uh, which says Sadowski above motion. Okay. Get to the 19th then. No. Right here. Okay. Right here. Okay. Okay. Just, just a question, and I, I don't know the, the process, but since the, the meeting was continued from the 23rd of January to tonight, could action be taken on our case without us being at present at the 13th, the hearing on the 13th? Could a vote have been taken at the last hearing since it wasn't, it was continued until tonight? Well, could I can explain that again slowly so, so we it sounds always... like decisions were made at the last hearing, which we weren't in attendance at because our case was continued until tonight. <laughs> So we I'm did not discuss your application. All we we're trying to do is accommodate yeah. the dates of when the board members would be available. So there's right. no discussion of anything about anything that had to do with your. It was just that we're setting a date up. Is all we're doing. And it doesn't look like we actually uh, voted on oh, the motion that yeah, here. the date of mm -hmm. March 19th. So, yeah. That's it. Yeah, that was. But we didn't. I believe it's solely up to the chairman. Right here. Under under the law to set the dates of the meeting, but we didn't technically vote on. I don't think we can. I mean, we have to. The chairman sets the meeting dates by law. And I don't think we vote on. We meeting. haven't. I think we haven't approved the minutes yet. yet. But well, it's in draft we, form right now. But that's what's been presented to us. Either way, the chairman has the sole authority to set meeting dates. You can always boot it to town council. <laughs> he hasn't gotten back to me, so yeah. that hasn't worked out very well. But and we need to make sure we allow enough time for all the Parties. paperwork and notifications in the paper and all that. that well, it's issue. it's a continuation, so it's not a re-notification. Okay. That that that's the issue because we haven't opened 127 North Main Street. Mm -hmm. Then it has to be re-advertised in the butters notice. That was the issue then. Right. Okay. So as soon as you open it. Then you don't the have to first, do all that again. Right, they don't have to do all that again. Okay. So that's the issue why we have to be here on the 12th. We, we, because I'm sure the folks at the 12th would say, oh, we can come the 19th, yeah, whatever. But, we, but it would okay. they because the applicant has to pay for that notification. Gotcha. We haven't even opened that yeah. hearing yet. Yeah. That's why we have to meet on the 12th. Okay. We also so, but the the DG is going to be a continuation, so we don't have to go through the all that. The chairman can set a continuation mm -hmm. at, at any point for the meeting, as far as I understand. That's the, it's a chairman's discretion on the agenda too. He could decide administratively without other board members if he wants to add, after talking to town council, if he wants to add Dollar General to the, uh, you know, to the twelfth agenda. I think we're pretty well in agreement. We want the nineteenth, though, from what I can see. Well, that's what was said at the last meeting, and I, I we need to stick with that. I, I don't disagree with you, Bernie. I like I said, I'm just, you know. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. Do you need to vote on it? Do you want? To I don't think we need to vote on it because the chairman sets the agenda and the meeting dates. And I think that night we also have the Renaissance if they come back in or supposed to come, but they also will probably need to go to. Uh, there's some thought they might need a variance and they might have to file another. Is that the North right. Street? That's yeah, a North Street okay. one. Right, but they were planning on coming that night, and I heard that they already applied for variance. Okay. So hopefully it's posted. It's not posted yet. Well, hopefully when it goes in the newspaper, it's that date. Okay. So I guess that discussion then is going to be... March 12th can, for no, the... No, no, for the 127? 
North Main North Street. Main Street. North Main Street. North Main Street. Correct. As scheduled. And then it's going to be March 19th for the other two. March 19th, so as we had agreed upon. Okay. Unfortunately. But we're already saying that the 19th doesn't work. You okay, know, it doesn't we, work we were, now. We were being communi communicated the 12th. All right, so if it doesn't work now, if it doesn't work now, then you can send, and if, and if it still is not going to work, you have no fill-in lawyer, then you can s send administratively, and the chairman can f pick a new date. And yeah. the date will most it's likely be the second Thursday in August, or April. April. If it doesn't work out, send us an email saying it doesn't work, and we'll go to I'll April. i you now it doesn't work. So. Well, anyway. My suggestion is talk to your council and we'll talk to our council who will talk to Bernie and we'll have it on the agenda on the 12th if we to set up a different date that's going to be compatible with both parties, all parties. So okay. is the, the hearing is being continued until the 12th or to the 19th? I would say we continue it to the 19th. 19th, but it's, it's already been said continued. On the 12th. Okay. He said if between now and then. Right. So you guys you come up with a different date, it could be discussed on. So if you wrong. say you come up to me, you call 11th or something, we can put it on the agenda, we discuss it, and then we can set another date at that time. But right now it's going to be the, the 20, uh, 19th. 19. All right? right? But I'm telling you that that doesn't work. So what's the next, you know, if it has well, to be. Well, you talk to your council. We're not going to talk about it anymore. But I, I've talked to them. The 19th doesn't work for us. So it's, either, just, the, it's the, either the 12th or it's the second Thursday in April. You, you're going to make us come back. We are not in a position to set another date other than the, the 19th at this point because we need to talk to our council. Okay? Yeah. And I try to get a hold of him, and he has not got back to me. So we're in limbo. I, I, unfortunately. And tonight was canceled because of the town council. You know, we're. I, I understand that. And, and, and Mr. Decker said earlier that the one member, he could miss a meeting and still watch it, and there's no issue. I, I, I struggle if council's available. That's the date that's been communicated to us for the last month. Why would being pushed out another 30 days? Okay. I think that'll be two members, right? Move on to something else. Because you're not going to okay. be here on the 12th. No, no I'm not going to be here. We're going to go the, the 19th. <laughs> All right. Second to close the discussion on it. Discussion is ended. You might have to vote it. Was the hearing ever opened? We didn't open a hearing tonight. We can't open a hearing tonight. We did not open a hearing tonight. We're only talking about scheduling. Okay? We haven't opened a hearing tonight. But don't you have to open it since it was continued and can just continue it to the next? I don't think we have to. We'll talk to town council. Well, you want to open it? Then no. just set the date and then and then vote to close the hearing? I, it could be a trap. Yeah, we open it up, then we have people are not here. Well, it's on our agenda. Mm -hmm. Open hearing and set a new date. So Open hearing to set a date. We're not open hearing to discuss. That's specific. Open, open hearing to discuss a new date. Well, then I think we should... So we should I think we should hearing. cover our... I'm oh, sorry. We should cover ourselves. Open the hearing open and set the new date. Date. Set the new date and... And close the hearing. I move to open the hearing. You guys want yeah, because so I'm going to tell you, continue. we're continue. going to get continue. sued no matter what we do. Just oh, I know. I, I don't really care about yeah. that. I mean, I get a long line of people. Well, let's, 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 let's stick to this. Um, let's open it. Okay. Uh, okay, Bernie. Motion to open the meeting up. Second. Hearing. Record reflect hearing. Open the hearing up. Yeah, I second yeah. that. And then propose the new day. Or Bernie? set the new yeah. date. Yeah, propose a new date. You're going to set. Uh, no, you set, set it. it. Well, you set the new date. I set it as the 19th yeah. of March. Correct. 2020. Right. 2020. Okay. At what time do you want it? Um, have to do seven. Right? Let's go at seven o'clock, like we were planning on doing. Okay. Okay. Because I think that's what's been posted. And then the next I'll, I'll second that. Okay. So what is the motion now? It's for the 19th. Yeah. Okay. Open at seven o'clock. And this is with specific respect to Dollar General LLC. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Call a vote. Call for a vote. In favor? Aye. Aye. Any you got, opposed? You got one more voting and then you need to. You only have oh, that's one, true. Of one of the can alternates. One of the Go ahead. You want to go ahead? Aye. Okay. <laughs> it's your choice. Motion to close the, meet, close the meeting? Continue. Or to close the hearing? Yeah. Motion to close the meeting. Any second it, right? Yeah. Second. Close the hearing. Hearing? Hearing. 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 Yep. Hearings closed. Have any other business or can we? 
we, we need to review any correspondence. All right, let's active. let's go over some things about our meeting schedule. All right, all right. Sorry, we can't be here every night. Oh. Um. Okay. That's gonna be, yeah. Anyway. Okay. This is gonna be taken care of because I'm gonna put my foot down about what what happens. You got to make sure that Sue understands not to schedule a meeting right. unless she checks with you in the yeah, calendar absolutely. because First, they're absolutely. setting the dates up and their traps because they don't check to see right. how many people are available. Right. Right. Because it's not her fault, she's just learning. No. Right. And the th second thing is we're dealing with, the, with, the, with council and that's been the fly in the ointment is we're tied up with these people. Other than that, we wouldn't have a problem. Yeah. We just do the meeting and away we go. Yeah. But now they, they want this one here, they want that one here. So now we're, we're uh, chasing yeah. around trying to get people here. Yeah. It was very unclear too where the twelfth came up. Yeah, there are a lot of just. Mm. Well, the twelfth is our normal meeting. Yeah. Right, yeah, so right but how that meeting, one got moved. We guess, had a meeting yeah. in July, and then we didn't have a meeting until January. I know. Okay? I know. I know. So I mean, we don't have a regular. We don't typically meet unless there's a hearing. So right. Okay. No, I would have just assumed cleared the whole thing up tonight, if everybody was available. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, but that's not the way it was. Okay. Uh, I'm proposing that we start a meetings at six o'clock on the second Thursday of the month. On the second Thursday of every month. Is this under any other business? So we yes, we yes. don't have any correspondence to review. No. Okay. All right. And you All didn't right. reasonably anticipate it coming up tonight, so it's, it's permissible to bring it up. All right. The other thing is. Six we, p.m. on the second Thursday is what you're. Right. And also, we're going to close meetings at nine thirty. Mm -hmm. And we'll take a break somewhere in the middle if the meetings are extended periods of time so the people can take care of things. Mm -hmm. Refreshments. That's all I had in there. All right. all right. Anyone else, any questions or comments? No, I just uh, just hope we get the Oak Town Council can work out a, a, an acceptable date with the opposing council and make things work. Okay? No. So, I don't have anything else to come up tonight. Um, Dave, anything? No. Alex? No. Officer Sokolowski? No, Sergeant. don't, Sergeant. no, please don't. I don't I don't need that spread around any more than it already is. Really? That's not my identity. Really? It's just okay. my job. All right. All right. Kathy? Nice to Thank see you, you though. Nice Thank to you. see you. Okay, okay, motion to close the meeting. Do you want to so do the we'll minutes? Uh, do we, no, we're going to do we're going to do uh, all the minutes at the next meeting. I thought. Yeah, everybody yes. gets a chance to read them. Oh, okay. The second, the closing of the hearing. Yeah. Or the meeting. All right. Meeting is so adjourned. Okay. No, all no, right. we have to have a vote. Have a vote. We have a vote. Yeah. Well, 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 I asked for a vote. There, there oh. we go. All in favor? All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs>